Hey everybody, it's Jenny. I'm back and I'm here with my friend Molly. Hi. So we've been really burdened about people who commit suicide and who self-harm themselves. Well, harm themselves. So I'm going to read Matthew 6, 25 through 29 and 33. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body, what you shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, and they toil not, neither do they spin. In verse 33, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So keep your eyes on the prize. That's what those verses are saying. Don't look behind you at the sins that you've committed in the past because God isn't going to bring those back up if He has forgiven you for them. And if you've asked for forgiveness, then He has forgiven you for them. Don't look to the side. Don't look at your friends. Don't look at your family. Just look at Jesus Christ. He's the only one that will keep you in a straight line. If you turn just slightly and look at something, then your path's not going to be straight. So, and suicide and self-harm just show that people are too consumed with themselves. They don't want to um, have other people look at them differently. Mm -hmm. And they're just too consumed with themselves to think, hey, if I hurt myself, it's going to hurt a lot of other people too. If I commit suicide, so many other people are going to mourn over my death more than they would if it were just natural. You don't realize how many people it affects until you do it. So just keep your eyes on the prize and keep your eyes to Jesus. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I've met three girls um, who self-harm themselves, and I'm going to go into this with um, the four reasons of self-harm, pretty much. Uh, mental, it could be, you know, you're mentally challenged, not maybe physically, but mentally. Um, you've got ADD or ADHD or dyslexia. I know a girl who has dyslexia, and she cuts herself because she's bullied because this one person hates her because she has dyslexia and also self-conscious like what Jenny was saying what you wear also that was in the verse and then um, people will bully you because you may not wear what they want you to wear and then uh, bullies self-harm themselves by hurting you like hurting you is gonna make them hurt in the future and be like man I wish I didn't do that I wish I was better in influence to these people your past my past constantly every day no day goes by that I don't think about my past and like anyways and I thought about killing myself for two years my friend was really mean to me and then it just went downhill from there and then um, in 2012 I met Jesus I put my life for Jesus Christ um, and also I found out during that time that joy burns out the pain like reading the Bible that burned out the pain a lot reading verses and starting a reading plan just burned out that pain. Also, good things are going to come no matter what. You may not think they are, but good things will come. Uh, there was an 11 year old girl who was going to kill herself, and um, she just said, I just can't handle it anymore. I have to kill myself. I was a mistake. I was another mistake made by God. God doesn't make mistakes for one thing, He is Amen. perfect and you're not a mistake no one's a mistake nope. and then also the pain won't stay there forever those bad people in your life won't stay through your life your whole life. it's just like a chapter in a it book is, yeah and that goes into the other thing there's always a bad chapter in every book there's always there's going to be a bad chapter in the bible but yet it's a good lesson but it's just really depressing and then you always but after that chapter there's going to be a good chapter and there's yep. going to you're if you're going through a bad chapter know that you're going to go through a good chapter as well this bad chapter may be 40 to a thousand pages pages long and the good chapter may be a paragraph but there's but, always some good in everything yeah and that joy will help burn out the pain and also Jeremiah 29 11 which helped me become a Christian is for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. I, you know, Jesus puts these things in our life to help us in the future. These people, this is going to help our future children, their future children. 
Like, this is going to help the next generation, what we've gone through. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And um, so, like, when you're doing something and somebody bullies you or something, just remember, you're not doing it for other people. You're not even doing it for yourself. You're doing it mm -hmm. for God. So keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. Don't look over to the side. Look back. Just keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. And all you need is God's love. That's, That's all right. you need. Even if people bully you, you still have God's love no matter what. He already died on the cross for you, so there's no turning back there. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, come back next week. Check out our devotional next week. And look at all the links in the description. And bye! Bye.